What is that? What is that? What in the world is this? Oh my gosh, she's so cool, man. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh! Let's go! What the f <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Last time we lost one of our we lost one of our uh our main party members. Sid is gone, chat. How the hell did that happen? We are like 30% through the game and this man's gone. A couple other things happened. Um, we got a massive villain reveal. <laughs> what is this? I believe this is the main villain of the game now. Um, I'm hyped. I don't know what is going on with this. If you just read that, it's insane. And not only that, uh, Joshua returned. You know, right after Sid, our boy, left this planet. Joshua returned. Don't ask me how he's alive. I don't know. He's like 22 or 23 years old now. Um, and he saved us from Ultima by trapping Ultima in his chest. Sealing Ultima within him. What does that mean? I don't know. And all we saw was that Clive was on the ground and he like had his hand like this. It was like a Call of Duty moment. And he was like, Joshua? So... Clive did see that potentially Joshua was there to save him. He like he he kind of faintly made it out. But in short, we had a time jump of five years. We're now hanging out with Clive. He has a new hideaway. He's in charge of the hideaway now. He goes by Sid to many of the people at the hideaway. He's like the new Sid. Now that Sid's gone, we carry on Sid's legacy to carry on the mission that Sid wanted us to do which is let the world be free. Let it, let it be free of the mother crystals. Let it be free of being a branded, of being a bearer of all this, this discrimination, of being a world where people can live and die on their own terms, damn it. And that's what we're doing. Amidst the fallen dreams of a people long faded, Clive and his friends strive to realize a new dream. A dream wherein people of all backgrounds, be they man, bearer, or dominant, can live on terms of their own choosing. Read Gav's letter. So Gav's still alive. We're going to go read a letter. And here we go, chat. I'm ready, chat. I am ready. The reading table. Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon return to the hideaway. Okay. The Republic's play. The Republican army marches on the Empire twin side, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something something big is brewing. I reckon I'll see you're done to wear upon my return. I love how it has like a little signage at the bottom. That's really cute. Gav. What does Gav have to say? Hey, Jill. The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. Another crystal? But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Oh. Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted. We might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. Shola, thank you. The crystals take more than they give. That music. In exchange for momentary comfort, 
We must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. Damn, it's a good scene. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. Let's go, Jill. And to me, that's no burden. This is hype. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. A second chance. So they do know. We did. He was there. Yes, they know. It wasn't an illusion. Oh. I heard him call out to Ultima. Oh. Yes. Oh, dude. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that, that thing. I love how the story is told so Do you so think far. he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. A toast. Oh. To a world without mother crystals. Dude, the music. Oh, I love them so much. To Sid. To Sid, chat. To Sid. To freaking Sid. Chat, that music is from 14, right? Please tell me it's from 14, because every time I hear it in this game, I'm like, I swear to God, I've heard that before. That's from 14, right? Meanwhile, oh my God, Joshua, no shot. We're just seeing him already? Bro, he looks so good. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, your grace. The North is lost. But this, this is far. Far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. What? The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. I love his voice. Tell me, brother. Are our efforts in vain? Dude, he is so dripped out. Look at him. Sorry, I know it's very serious, but like... He looks so cool. Like, I love his design there. Like, if that's his design for the rest of the game, hell yeah. That's the coolest design. I love that. Clive, a moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean <laughs> to... Intrude. Dude, everybody ships Not them. at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. Chat. It's Martha, from the inn. Love is missing. in the air. Anyway. Martha's I'll missing? I'll mess when you've finished. Very well. A gathering storm. You tell me it's been five years and they still haven't gotten together. I refuse to believe that they haven't. You're telling me they've been they've been around each other for five years and they practically lead this community together? No. No. Okay? They are, they are together, chat. They, they haven't outright said it, but they definitely are. They definitely are. They give off, like, they literally give off, like, mom and dad energy to the entire community. Like, not in a weird way. Like, they just do. Like, they're like the, the mom and dad of this entire, like, rebellion, you know? <laughs> so Lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. That's weird. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastport, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. 
they've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. She's fallen into the hands of the Empire. Yeah, they could we know could everything. Next. Couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should up speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, I'll Got it. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Hey, at least the Moogle's still alive, you know what I'm saying? Martha's rest, let's go see what's going on. Where is Martha? How do you know that name? How? Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. <laughs> you, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials descended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um... Does this guy have a name? Oh, his name's Cole. Second in command of the Curse Breakers. Huh. It's Captain Doris. Huh. Cool. Before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big Yikes. this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Dark clouds gather. Look. Up ahead. What? What's up ahead? Martha! Martha. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. Oh, you have Abbey, to do yeah. something. Okay. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? Black Shields. The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? The sick rose from their beds? Huh? Like the people that turned to stone earlier in the game when we got like shown that bears like turned to stone after a while, they rose from their beds. And also, who's the Black Shields? Poor souls turned on the Imperials. The Black Shields Imperials? Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. I hope she's okay. Mm. Are we too Jesus. Late? There might still be someone inside. I love the little piano in the background. Well, they killed... Is that the priest? No. Dude, this is awful. Oh my god. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent so, them. So they like made them turn to Colluding stone? Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. Oh, wait, they actually have like black armor. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. Dude. What? To what? dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. What? How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Oh, he's pissed. Because right. of Rosarian words, honor. right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh 
Get destroyed. Oh my god, dude. Get destroyed. Hey, Torgal. Sick him. <laughs> hey, Torgal, do it again. <laughs> hey, no, stay up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love when you like you go into the air with them and then you use Garuda to like pull back. It's like, no, 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 don't fall down yet. Don't do that. No. I didn't see the abbot. Okay, he abbot is not dead. Thank God. <laughs> Please be in here. Oh my God. The abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Oh. Calling upon what little magic they had left in No, bodies. that's so sad. They like turned to stone Clive. in the process He's of helping breathing. him. Friends of Martha, we're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Why? Rosaria will never be safe unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sin's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I, I shall. Sid, where are you? Sid! In here. We found a survivor. What is going on, man? Clive. He's gone. What is, why is everybody so evil in this game? Like, oh my god. Rich, what's up, man? JC, don't know anything about Final Fantasy, but I enjoy watching YouTube videos if you play this. Dude, I appreciate that so much. Listen, you don't have to know, you don't have to know anything of the other games at all. They're all, like, unique, each the single, single one, so. But the bears. You can follow just from those videos, and they didn't that's all you need to know. Like this. Dude, I appreciate you joining. Oh, it's no, Cole again. they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. They use that word Fighting a lot, on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds. Through That's what the she meant. So she and the abbot could escape. That's what she meant. I've gathered the bearer's remains. Curse my zombies background chat. I literally thought that they meant. <laughs> I thought that they meant that the bearers that were dead rose from the dead and like fought all the imperials somehow or something. I was like, wait, what? Did they use ether crystals? Did the ether get involved? Like. But no, it's just they rose from their bed like in a they 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 use like the old language, like fantasy language to basically say that they fought back and even though they were sick, they used their last part of their beings to to fight. Okay. Okay. I get it. Alright, the Black Shields. I want I wanted this tidbit. An order of knights instituted by Empress Annabella. Oh my god, we have the worst mother ever. Oh my god. And one of her first acts as Vicerine of the newly established Imperial Province of Rosaria, they are tasked with purging the impurities from the province, which in practice primarily involves slaying bearers upon the slightest pretexts. So what is, what's their reasoning for killing these people? Why do they have to have a calling? So, so it's not, they obviously use bearers, right? They obviously use bearers, so they don't, like, kill all the bearers. But, like, why, why, why did they kill some? Like, what did they do wrong? Is it just because they found out that the abbot was helping them? Is that why? I don't know. 
freaking crazy. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Radix jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. She's just like... Of course. It's literally like... It's lit it really is like that situation of like... Like pure blood, right? Like... It's almost like the... um. You know, I know, I know a lot of people don't want to talk about like Harry Potter nowadays, but you know what I mean? The, uh, like, you know, when everybody would, would make fun of Hermione because she was what a mudblood or whatever. It's kind of like that in some ways. Uh, I, at least I think like it's, it's like she, she views all these people as lesser. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. I mean, basically what Sean just said. Yeah. Basically it's kind of scary. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. It's crazy we haven't had like another cutscene with her yet though. Like I'm I'm really wondering like when we're gonna see her again. Like I think it's gonna be a big deal when we see her because they're they're building her up. Like honestly, the two big bads that we actually have right now, to be honest, more than anyone, honestly, is Ultima and Annabella. Or is it Annabelle? Or is it Annabella? It's Annabelle. I think those are like the two big bads of the story so far. What the heck is that? What the hell is that, dude? What? 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 What the heck is this, man? Let's try. Bro, what is going on? What happened to Martha? She she was under attack. Like they attacked her her town and killed all the bears that were at the 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 ab uh, the abbey. Which is really sad. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. It's not, though. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh. You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of Oh my god! Bears. I assumed it was all just nonsense. They're just killing by the bears. Nothing but a ghost story meant Jesus to make folk Christ. think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. Oh my god. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them. Preferably big ones. <laughs> if those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Let's go, Martha. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just Stolas before you arrived. Owl. I he asked that. me to tell you that Gav has returned. Gav! Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Yeah, we'll lend you some. Why not? Why not? Oi! You there! Don't just pass me by. Well, who the heck is this? You handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Oh? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? <laughs> you heard me right. I'm always I'll down worry. to rescue some. Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. 
Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you White ever did Heart. see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits. Oh, like. that's really cute. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. Of course. If I don't do this chat, you guys will be right. pissed at me. <laughs> you guys would be lad. so upset if I didn't. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. You okay. save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. The white winged wonder. Ooh, it's a feather. Nice a feather. White feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Ooh. Speaking of brave birds. Ooh, wait. Looks like they went that way. I forgot about his chocobo. Oh my god, wait. A? Ambrosia? It's Ambrosia, right? She's still alive, right? I don't think she died. We don't really know what happened to her. Oh, please just be his. Please just be the same Chocobo from the start of the game. Please. If it's, like, missing an eye or something. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. <laughs> you hurt her, and I hurt you. That's my favorite uh, Final Fantasy protagonist right there. Or better still. How about we <laughs> hurt you both? You attack the Chocobos, right you down. die. But don't say I didn't warn you. Let's go, baby. Bye-bye. You guys are about to get ulted. You ready for this? Let's freaking go! Oh my god, what? Dude. Oh my god, chat. <laughs> Holy bro. <laughs> oh my god. What? Whoa. The damage, bro. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god, dude. All those combos are insane. Oh my god. God dang, dude. You're safe now. Wait, is, is it missing an eye? White heart, I presume. <laughs> Where? Do you know her, boy? <laughs> it is. I think it. I think it is her. I Scar. It couldn't be. A flock. Oi! <laughs> he, he is it over! I'm actually like crying. Did I come and see how you were getting on? Oh, you uh, sorted the bastards then. What in the, what in I the, knew you would. <laughs> bro, <laughs> my the whole flock made it through unscathed. Oh, Thanks so pure. Oh. <laughs> Did the music? He was so happy to see her. 
Dude. Oh, that makes so she's just been in the wild protecting everybody. I'll be. God dang Never it. Never stop to think our hero here might want to be oh. someone's man. <laughs> no, I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her <gasps> master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Oh. Bird like her would have cost a princely oh. sum, or a lord or something. Well, I, um, he has no idea who. No, got. Sorry, sorry. I, I what Griffith just you. said, Chat. No matter who you are, you done right by me. <laughs> I cried over a chicken. <laughs> what is it, girl? She wants her master back. I reckon. Oh. oh. Told you, and it seems our pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? <laughs> well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Dude, if you didn't do this side quest, That'd be so sad if you missed this. Smokey, thank you for the five gifted, dude. You absolute legend. Thank you so much. Chat, please get some hearts for that. And just for this whole moment. Thank you, Smokey. You're, you're too kind. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, we got... We got... Oh, the, the little eye patch. Oh. That's so cool. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. She's back. Wear that, white heart. You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master. Yay! Hmm, you seem awful familiar <laughs> now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarm my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... Wait! 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 What? Wait! Whoa! Whoa! When? When was that? He was the guy in the flipped over cart. He was the guy in the flipped over cart, like actually, like, like the one, like five years ago. <laughs> he was like, yeah, was he getting attacked? What was happening? I remember that. It was one of the first like open zone side quests or something. What in the world? Was he like, like he was like pissed off or something? Yeah, like something was, was off. Was a bearer. Must have been my double. Well, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. That's cool. Pay me no mind. <laughs> That's cool that it yeah. called back to that. Be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. I like that. This is one of my favorites so far. Like, we actually got a nice reward you too. Take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Yay! I love how they like wiggle. Yay, chat. Can I just, can I call her now? Chocobo unlocked, yay! Nice, oh! Yeah! The music. They did a little bit of the Chocobo theme. That's cute. Gallop, rain in. Oh my god, this is. Oh wait, Jill's on one too! Yo! And Torgal. Can you imagine if Torgal was on one too? <laughs> hey. Oh, he's missing an eye as well. I forgot about that. Oh. Where's my report? What? No kind words, be ruled, pal Gav. <laughs> If it's kind words you're after. Wait, did I wait? Did I, did I say talk to Sid? 
Wait, why did I say I meant I meant Gav. I don't know why I said Sid. <laughs> Chat. I said talk to Sid. Oh no. Now sit down, you fool. Is Joe getting a drink too? Oh my god. Sure. You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? Is that the Dominion? And how pissed off all the other nations That's were that gorgeous. they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we oh, speak, wow. looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. While Ode, while Ode's just sitting there waiting. see us coming. Oh? It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Oh! Oh, God! Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironholm. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud and Drake's tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. That's where the Empire is, though. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinside, Drake's fang will be left exposed. Oh! We're going for the Dalmechia exactly one. the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. He loves his traps. He still might have people there. But still less than normal, maybe. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Where? Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Okay. Who's that then? My uncle. My uncle? Byron Rossfield. Byron? Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Dude, this all right, pause. This is so much like Game of Thrones. Are you kidding me? Jon Snow when he goes to the north, and it's like, yo, my uncle, my uncle that's beyond the wall and like literally is like still alive somewhere. Are you kidding me? This is so Game of Thrones. I love it. Oh my god, we had an uncle. We didn't meet him yet, right? He hasn't existed yet. I just want to make that very clear. He has not existed yet, right? Like, we, he's just always been off doing something else. Okay. <coughs> okay. So, okay. So, from what I understand, what they're going for is they're going for the, the, the crystal in the islands to the west, essentially. Which is where I believe Jill was... Uh, a part like the a part of like that's they were the Iron Islands right that 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 used Shiva to attack Delmechia right at one point like the yeah the Iron Kingdom I'm, it's right here in front of me um yes the Ar yeah Archip archipelago I can never say it right off the west coast got it got it got it Strake's breath wait Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. You didn't know this? My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Nice. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? <laughs> this is kind of cool. Because... I didn't expect them to go this way. I thought we were going to go straight to Dalmechia behind enemy lines, but Clive went, no, he'll be expecting that, actually. Let's go off over here. Southern Rosaria. The music. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. 
I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. True. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I wonder if we're going to get some more Jill's story here because she was here at these islands, I think. We'll see. I always knew that I would return one day. Well, chat, there we go. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Let's go, dude. It's exactly what I want. I want more Jill story. Face it together, then. Damn right. To the end. I don't like that, though. That scares me. <laughs> to the end. And you too, Toro. Come on. Oh. I'm excited, though. Bloodlines. Oh, God. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Got it. So we're down to help out everybody. Nice. Mockery of justice is what it is. <gasps> Lord Elwyn would never oh. have stood for this. They know about our father. Quiet, you. Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Loyalists are people that miss the old days of Elwyn and stuff. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befalls her. That she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all. M maybe it's not. For the transgressions of but a handful. Maybe it's not, Fred. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Their armor is really, really menacing. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. Maybe our uncle? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. So somebody fought Maybe that? Just... Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. Okay. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. <laughs> you have to be so stupid to take them on. Run along now. Before one of the boys starts Dude, everybody's so off-putting in this location. We'll see. You've seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You've seen them, didn't you? At least I think they was a black shield. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? <laughs> Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Firebrands? Oh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. What's a firebrand? I assume it's- You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Could be us. Interesting. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. Oh my god. I speak for the people of this village. And we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. Oh my. May I at least ask why? 
I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I Dude, will Dude, everybody's so submit. scared of our mom. Oh my this god. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. Dude. We just, we just got kicked out. They said, they said, they said, yo, Clive, what's the shape of Italy? Booted us right out, dude. Right These out. people live with a knife to their throat. Sorry, that was an old 360 thing. Don't worry about that. That was old In the days. mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. All right, guys, you, that was a dad joke. Obedience I'm bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. What is... But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? Your uncle, you mentioned him. A new ally would certainly be welcome. It's gotta be his uncle. Can we find them before the Imperials it's Gotta do? be his uncle. Who else is it? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. I feel like it's very obvious it's his uncle. We'll see. Oh god, there's blood. Blood, Clive. Blood. And still wet. A lot of blood. Torgal. Torgal looks menacing. Uh oh. You were told to stay in your homes. We don't listen to you. The Black Shields. You know who we are, and still, you would bear your steel. Dude, all I gotta do is press one button and Why you go then? flying. We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. <laughs> I'll show you a true shield to present. <laughs> I love it, dude. Bye bye. Bye bye. Enough. <laughs> dude, that guy got kicked just like Silver did in Sonic 06. You know when Shadow comes out of like the, the chaos control portal and he just like randomly spin kicks Silver into the ground? That's what just happened to that guy. He literally just got like shadow kicked. Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why you? We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. What? <laughs> they await you in Ordil. Guardians of the flame. What do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Your friends have been found. What does he mean? <laughs> what friends? What friends do we have here? Find something, boy. Death. Torgal casually finding death. God. Oof.
that a child? Just branded. Just branded everywhere. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. No, he try. I will learn what madness drives her, and I will end it. Oh! We should go. Speak your truth. Speak your truth, yes. Clive. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. Get it, boy! <laughs> <laughs> That's so not like... <laughs> there's like, there's like literally like people dead right next to us. Get him, boy! <laughs> hey! Uh, oh my goodness. Oh. Have mercy. Voice for the dogs, they are. You can't ignore us forever. Listen, who would die on your doorstep? Better out there than in here. Oh, get enough from the king. Oh, can you chill us bastards? Those crystals belong to us all. I said, where were you from? Back to your stall. Cut you down where you stand. Just try it. No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. How else are we going? Strictly speaking, no. Boat? My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. The Lazarus? Yo? We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. Go to an abandoned city to find your way in. Black light burns. Okay. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. <laughs> They always think they can take us, but they just, they definitely can't. Like, they're not even like knights. I'm not. Yeah. Oh my God, there's a lot of them. If I just do, dude, ignition. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bro, there's no way. There's no way it was that fast. Chat, there's no There's no way. <laughs> Ignition is so OP. Oh my god, that move is so OP, dude. Oh my god. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. <laughs> and he's long dead. Who, Byron? And perhaps it's time you joined him. Oh my god. 
The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Wait. What? Who is this? Don't tell me it's like Wade or something and they somehow lived. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Who is this? Founder, it really is you. It is. Wait, he's alive! Wait, what? Wait! Wait, he lives! He lives! Oh my god! No way! No we way! Can inside. How did you live? I thought you burned. Oh my god. Where's Tyler? Tyler's dead though. Is Tyler dead? I remember Sir Wade and Sir Tyler, dude. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before oh the Empire god. could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon Guardians after. Guardians of the Flame. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Huh. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Dude, I'm so happy. Oh my, the foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady <laughs> Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. True. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. Wait, so she had another kid. Also, uh, someone's asking who Wade is. So, chat, in the, in the prologue, if any of you guys like watch the prologue stuff or played the prologue, there's that moment where your dad tells you to go to the marshes. You go to the marshes and fight the little tentacle marble thing. Um, and the two like knights that are with you, like the two other like party members you had, like your first party members in the whole game was Sir Wade and Sir Tyler. And Sir Wade had like this giant like axe. Um, and, and they, I thought they died when Joshua went all like Phoenix. I thought that's where they died. I assume Tyler did die. Uh, but somehow Wade lived. I don't know how Wade lived because I swear to God we saw like them get enveloped in light. But a loyal shield of Rosaria, though he was thought to have died during the attack on Phoenix Gate, he somehow survived not only the disaster but the imperial conquest that followed. He and other like-minded shields took up residence in the abandoned Lazarus and formed the Guardians of the Flame, brothers in arms who fight for the restoration of the duchy. Love it. Love it. So he's still fighting for Rosaria, which is great. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So she has another son. That's so wait, crazy. The Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. I'm glad Wade is here. He seems so much like different. He seems so much more hardened as well from everything. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. Oof. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. This cannot continue. 
We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Love it. Love it. I hope he joins the party. That'd be kind of cool. If he Very came, well. If he came back to the party for a second. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. Nice. Please, to please tell me he's like right next to us and we fight with him. That'd be so cool. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. No, he's not here. Maybe we fight with him up there. Tell us then, Sir Wade. They have plot armor. They what have is to take the ignition. Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians. The okay. Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, okay. which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed. He was bit. just like, I'm probably going to fail, whatever. <laughs> so wait. Until we showed up. The had been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. Okay, we. As you come out. They saved all those, or they laid all those people to rest that we saw earlier. Rip Tyler. Can we just pour one out for Tyler, chat? Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find Didn't peace. even know, like... There is but one thing which will grant peace. What happened to him? Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Silent, thank you again, dude. I really appreciate it. Dude, their outfits are so now? cool. I told you. We bear a message for the Vicereen. From the Guardians of the Flame. Okay. Ah. You presume to tell us uh -oh. that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, <laughs> could guard aught against the might of the black sheep. <laughs> and a dog. Then come, die along with your flame. Okay, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignition. Forest area. Yeah. Forest area. Let's go, dude. Your petty revolution ends. Let's do this first, actually. On these our swords, we swear. Dude, I'm like, I feel like I'm OP. Like, I genuinely feel like I'm OP. Like, what's going on? There we go, baby. Sit down. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I don't see any. Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It <laughs> bloody worked. Let's go, Wade. Let's go. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord. <laughs> Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the I time like being, Wade. Least, I'm glad he's here. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. No, she'll she'll move pissed. swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. She's gonna be pissed. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. That Rosaria theme. We battled to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may. It is still our home, and we must fight for it, as we always have and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die, and her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once more. That's some Winterfell so stuff if I've ever heard it. Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. No. It's 
very much like the Rob Stark, the Jon Snow kind of angle for Clive. Which makes sense. I've always thought that Clive looks like Jon Snow a little bit. And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. That's cool. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows. Surprised they haven't he would yet. be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. Ooh, uh, another mark thing? Probably. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. I really... Okay, just side note. I think it'd be super cool if they, like, made little, like, pens or something. Maybe they do in, like, the Collector's Edition. But I think it'd be really cool if there was, like, some pens that you could get. Or magnets or something. Or, like, stickers that you could get on, like, a laptop or something. And just, uh, and, and like, see, yeah, like, all these marks that we collect throughout the game. Because there's a lot of them, and they all have, like, story relevance. And I'm kind of just... I mean, look, it, sh it shows it. There, there's a picture of it. I see it. So they could I definitely do it. Pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking I want one on again. my, like, MacBook, you know? Unless like you Like, the Rosarian, like, seal. Like, I think it'd be if pretty cool. Tyler could have been here to <gasps> see you. Or the Lord Commander. Oh. Thank you, Sir Wade. Pour one out. If there is ever anything you need. For Elwyn and Tyler. Go on now, my lord. What a what a, a re, like just refreshing moment. I didn't I didn't expect to see him in this game again. It's really cool. And I like how they didn't like they both weren't alive. It was only one. Rossfield Manor. So we got the seal. So maybe he'll meet with us now. We're about to meet our uncle. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. <laughs> oh man. Some big feet. All right, I guess my uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. <laughs> he means to string us up himself. There we go. Byron. Is this him? Oh! Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. <laughs> what? Wait, he's like, wait, are you? Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. Show him the flame. Show him the flame. I don't have, wait, what? Is my game glitching out? You would mock me as well. Oh no, he's just, he's just mocking him. I thought my, I thought my game was glitching. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to her serene holiness, Saint Sybil. The unshod. Meadow, thou <laughs> vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's showing some like old play they used to watch or something. Curse thee, infectious flax wench. Even in death, must thou plague me <laughs> What is <still>? happening? 
Very well. I shall open the gates of oh, hell. Oh, he's, he's got tears coming down his eyes. Charge once more. Oh. Oh. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Wow, dude. Oh, oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> you always were fond of that scene from the saint in the sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. So Aww. Aww. I have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. <laughs> There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. I want him to make a comment and be like, I See that you chill? use the good plates, Rutherford. And who is this lady with you? This is really cute. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing what is she this thinking town, about? and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. I feel bad for Joe. all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been 20 years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. But she did say she was forced to fight, yeah. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us then? About everything? <coughs> believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. What a legend. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> it's not uh, untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It would need to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. <laughs> oh. That's really cute. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being sick. Nah, tell him about the real sick. You're always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> Dude, he's so happy. Why then? Who shall we pillage first? <laughs> Fetch me my cutlass. <laughs> he's so ready just to help. This will be fun. The music, man. This was a really cute scene. Like, it, it, it brought some much-needed levity, I think. I think to the story because it's been really dark lately and just having like a moment of like just meeting a family member like just it, it feels really good it feels really good she's a fine ship isn't she what's Jill thinking about once outfitted she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days Something on your mind. 
Ah, the cinematography. Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I... I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. Through the writing. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. Yes. Yes. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. I love them so much. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Don't say that. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Bendemir is long and there is much to tell the others. Oh God. Dude. Dude, they literally keep putting them like this close and then going, all right, yeah, uh, uh, to sleep. You gotta be kidding me, chat. I swear, chat, I swear. They like, they need to like say something. Like they can't be just friends at this point. There's no way, dude. There's no way. I know they have baggage. I get it. I get it, but... <sighs> How many times, chat? We have the moment... We have the moment where, you know, granted, granted, they were both really young, so it was kind of weird then. But, you know, like, he, he didn't put his hand on her shoulder when they were kids. He, he then had the moment in the barn later where they are, like, clearly about to kiss, but then didn't. And then this bit right here, they like, they so clearly care about each other. God dang it. My Southern accent is coming out. That's how emotionally attached I am to this. Like, I, I'm starting to talk. <laughs> Look how I used to talk. <laughs> Why don't they kiss? God dang it. <laughs> Clive, oh, am I glad to see you. Is something wrong? It's Blackthorn. He ain't himself. The, and if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. The blacksmith? Yeah, normally, it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but <laughs> not this time. Something's getting him down. And whatever it is, he ain't telling. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got oh. enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what'd you say? Sure. Fine. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. 
Okay. I wonder what this does for us. Because it's a plus quest, so you unlock something, I assume. I was like, dude, that's amazing. First Start with August, Porter Robinson. Now you. What you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought Five you might care. want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. <laughs> Would you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the What's open. What's he worried about? Please, mate. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Phil shut you up. It's nothing really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. Oh. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than Ooh. it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. Now, every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. There. You happy? You got what you came for. Now, piss off. All right. We're going. I wonder if we can find it for him. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. I like these quests a lot because it humanizes everybody in the hideaway. Least of all, a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work, which will only add to his problems. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. <laughs> first things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. Cool. I was always wanted to black Blackthorn get that scar during the hideout Karen. ambush. I I thought he did, but maybe I'm wrong. It's not a monster, Karen. he's Torgal. <laughs> you have a moment. Did y'all hear that? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently <laughs> come by a level cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. We're sure to let that play. He ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, right, sold it already. Oh. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened across him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order. But the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. I didn't like the colour of some it. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He don't trust hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working the rhyme. I see. Hmm. He did tell me something, though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of Griffinhide Greaves. Here! There's a griffin on the hump board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. Maybe. Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe. That's on the hunt board? Care Northern. That was it. Oh, back to the Thank castle. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you admit it. <laughs> so. I just sounds saw. Sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding I just saw Torgal behind the counter, chat. I'll leave the hunt into you if you don't mind. While you get on with that. I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Is Torgal still back here? Yeah, Torgal is still back here. Torgal! What are you doing, lad? Time to talk to Nectar. Hey. Ask about Griffin sightings. Did I hear you say you're hoping to hunt down a Griffin, Koopo? I do have a billet for you, Koopo, especially a horrible one. Local's called Dazmer. Okay. 
Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I heard a cry so terrible. Questioning locals revealed that this area was the nesting place of the elder griffin known as Dazmer, a beast made much hated for its appetite, both for chocobos and for children. Oh my god. Care Norvent Westgate. Got it. It's a B rank. Yo. Oh my god. It's Buckbeak. Rank B. Rank B. B. Oh, dude. Okay, he's got wind abilities. Ow. And the wind abilities last longer than I thought. Dude, what? Alright, F this. The parry. The parry, though. The parry again. Let's go, baby. That's some crazy damage. That's some crazy damage right there. In midair. Let's go. You're done. Last one. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> that was a cool fight. I like that one. Oh my god, dude. We love ignition. Ignition is so good. Are you alright? <sighs> Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost an sight arrow. of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. Imagine using an arrow. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if oh. you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Let's bring him Not back. so lowly from what I hear. Bring him back to the hideout. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? Please. For, she's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund. It's not her who sent me. Oh. 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 Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art. And not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Well, actually, I suppose you could give him this. What's this? What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. That's true, that's a lot of meat. I'd say it's the least I can do. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself, that is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. Nice, nice, I'd be nice. much obliged if you would. Right. I've got some griefs to make. You send your blacksmith my regards. Okay. Will do. And thank you. I wonder what that unlocks. Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. <laughs> and with a bit of luck, Clyde might even find the geezer. Bloody busybodies, the both of you. <laughs> How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him. And he asked me to give you this. Along with his regards. Treated leather. What is this gonna unlock? Like armor? You're joking. I just heard an owl. Yo? He said he wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, 
you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. Ah. Uh, so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. No wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive, you didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. Hmm. Turns out he's from Tabor. And again, most leather workers Tabor. are. But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret. The details of which are the subject of some debate in the leather working community. What? Then we better keep this close to our chests. <sighs> Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. Should have kept my moaning to myself. Still, I'm glad you found him. This has cheered me right up. Aww. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. It's good to have you back, Blackthorn. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly what hides to look for. And that's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. And don't get me started how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Okay. Anyway, enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. <laughs> Looks like we won't be needing a new blacksmith. As if there was a better one out there. Nah, it wouldn't have been the same anyway. No one spins a yarn like old Blackthorn in his cups. This is so pure. Right, now that's sorted. I've got duties to attend to. Thanks, Clive. You've given me my mate back. <laughs> these are so cute. Like... These, these quests are just so, like, happy sometimes. Let's do it, chat. Back again, I'm down Lord if you are. Crossfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. Give me a new update. <sighs> it is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this I occasion. love Vivian. She's awesome. <sighs> Ever the charmer. <laughs> what will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. Nice. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. Mm -hmm. The mother crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the iron blood made their move. Okay. Oh, here we go. I love this. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, okay. if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the mother crystal sacred. Nice. And they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill washtubs uh, and light lamps with frivolous feats of uh, magic. Ah, I see. Indeed. The faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only oh, they're going down. to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether and with the blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath and plucked it from the duchy's grasp. This one's more personal than the others. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again. 
under the Empire's stewardship, meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. This is cool as hell. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. Damn. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital, killed the men, and captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. Damn, this is gonna be sick. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Nah, this is gonna get personal. <laughs> Thank you all the same. I just know it's going to get more personal than that, especially well, with Jill with us. Here. Let's see if Jill's ready. With Jill with us, it's going to get a lot more personal, for sure. You ready? Let's get it, Jill. I think so. Let's go. Jill. When you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath. Wait. Mm -mm. No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the crystalline Orthodox, the man who made me do all those unspeakable things. Oh my God. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need to move forward. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. Oh. We'll make him proud. I like how it pans up, too. It's like, you know, gives that feeling that someone's watching over them. I like that. It's freaking go, dude. The boiling sea. Have a good night, deep. Useful trick. Freezing and thawing the spray to make mist. Oh, that's I cool. Learn to use your powers like this. That's really cool. The masters made me do it when the crusaders took to the seas to keep the fleet's movements from prying eyes. Oh my god. She got forced to learn it. I'm fine. Oh. No, you're not. This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. All right. Might as well kill two birds with one stone over here. Take out the crystal, take out this other guy too. That is very cool that she's the one creating the mist though. That is so cool. She is the Iron Kingdom's mother crystal. Drake's breath. Drake's breath. Damn, that thing looks wild. They did say it was a volcano, did they not? I remember reading something about that in the lore. I wonder if it's like a, if, if it's like, you know, like Hawaii or something. It's like a volcano, like it's volcanic islands. It is, yeah. Yeah, I just want to make sure I, Strong I did read that. Sharp rocks and ether floods. 
Let's not forget them. This island is a natural fortress. Nice. But safety breeds complacency. Allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. That looks wild. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. Oh, I'm loving this already. Fire and ice. Oh. I always imagined when I came here, it would be to reclaim it. It used to belong to Rosaria, didn't it? Once, though it's been in the Ironblood clutches for far too long. As was I. For 13 years, this rock was my home. I know its secrets only too well. This path was abandoned after an ether flood. They don't guard it anymore. The perfect little shortcut. It sounds so piratey. I love it. Da, da, da. This sounds like something that would be in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, I love it. Oh, shoot. Oh. Whoa. What the? What? Was that the Berserker Ring? Yo. Yeah, Berserker Ring literally does that move. That's so freaking cool. The old Arboretum is just up ahead. We'll enter the caves from there. Look at this place. What a mess. This is awesome. Already like this level a lot. Wait. Wait. Yo. Oh my god. It's turned. <laughs> Nothing is shield of Rosaria can't handle. Damn right, you fought this as a kid. Oh, this is cute. It's Just like upgraded like a little bit. Just like old times. Sure to keep clear Believe me. I mean to. Oh, that's foul. <laughs> that's foul. Oh, breathe it in. Look at that chat. Whoa, whoa, that's different. That's different. That's different. Oh my gosh, this is such a raid boss. What? I still can't believe they can jump. What a line, dude. <laughs> it's like, how, how does it do that? I don't know, dude. You're done. Sit down. Let's go, chat. Let's go, dude. Oh my god, that was a sick fight. I like that one. That, I like that the, the tentacle stuff was added, and it was just overall just harder. I like it wasn't just the exact same. Morbid death. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, lad. Press on. Yes. Carry on. <laughs> it's fine. There's gonna be nothing else like that. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> Clive tired? Oh. It's a heavy door, I guess. Mount Dristanus. It's like a furnace in here. Whoa. We're inside the volcano. You get used to the heat. Though I don't remember it being quite this hot. Getting like Star Wars vibes. What's that level? Uh, not level. The What is it? What's the last planet in Revenge of the Sith? What's it called? Chat? Given, getting that vibe, I'm getting, yeah. Yeah, Mustafar. Is that one called Mustafar. It was. Mordor, yeah, as well. And they're getting bigger. 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Hey. Shiva? Oh, we don't see us too much. Let's go. Let's go! Heck yeah. They're so cool. I love them. Oh, this looks like a boss. This looks like a boss, boss zone if I've ever seen one. Oh god. Whoa! Oh, it's like one of the demons. But they never leave. It's like the thing we fought in the woods. If I didn't know better, I think this volcano was about to erupt. Yeah, probably. Okay. Okay. Ow. There we go. Oh! Oh god! Here we go. Dude, all the upgrades are making everything so much better now. What's it doing? Uh-oh. Nothing good, I'll wager. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! 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 Hold on, midair, midair! Oh! Oh! Dude, this ring! This ring's insane, chat! Oh my god, dude. Oh! Ignition? Okay, we'll take that. Let's hold again. Ow. Oh my god! That was insane! Holy! Are you kidding me? This game's combat is so fun, dude. What? Dude! Dude, it's over! It's over! Dude, oh my god! I don't even know how I parried that! Like, I, like, parried him, like, in midair as he was falling, dude. I don't know how. Clean fight. I like how they, they reuse, like, monsters we've already seen, but in new ways. God. They had new abilities. It's just hot. Thank you. Quite a commotion our friend made. Drink some water, Joe. Let's hope the guards didn't hear it. The gate to the inner chambers is just up there. Then we make for the sanctuary. I need to finish this. Before the heat finishes me. Here, yeah, yeah. I wonder if she doesn't do as well in hot places because she's Shiva. You know? We'll enter the Comric by the hand. Like she just naturally doesn't like it. They're about to shut Torgal out. Bye bye, Torgal. You stay in the volcano. <laughs> what time is it? It's 3 30. This game's too good. I had to finish this arc. I have to finish this arc. I have to see it through. Oh my god, what is about to happen? Who is this? Oh. 
the servants. Oh. Lady Morley. Oh. It's me. By the mother. Oh my god. Jill. It can't be. It is, my lady. We cannot talk here. Come with me. But Kilby, give, give me one second. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, are there any plans for Fourth of July? Uh I have honestly I have like none. I have like no plans at all. To be honest with you. Dude, thank you so much for a thousand bits, bro. What the What's going on? I'm so glad you're safe. And I you. Why ever would you risk coming back? Are you a fool, girl? Or have you grown tired of your freedom already? Forgive me, my lady. But I had to come back. There are things I left undone. Tell me, where is the Patriarch? She's not messing around. At this hour, he'll be in the Comric, giving thanks. You mean... Oh, that fiend! Clive, we have to get to the Sanctuary. Now. Clive just says, yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> Whatever you say. Lady Marley, you must flee this place, gather your things, and go. Now listen here, Jill. In no. Oh, we have company. <gasps> oh, stop. This way. Dude, what a legend. Fast. We'll see before this opens. I want to see Marley. I want to read this. Born in the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, here we go. Marley was kidnapped by the Iron Blood during their invasion 18 years before and taken back to the island of Justanus, where she was forced to serve as a handmaiden for the priests of the Crystalline Orthodox. There she met the young Jill Warwick and took her under her wing, caring for the terrified child as if she were the mother Jill never knew. That is so freaking cute. What the heck? Let's Follow this passage. It leads straight to the Comric. Okay. Go on, stop dawdling. Thank you. She is so sweet. You were always so kind to me. My light in the darkness. That music is so good. Take care, my lady, please. You deserve better than this. A long and happy life, promise me. I want whatever that so that soundtrack is right there. It sounds so good. I'll live if you promise to do the same. Oh. I hope she doesn't die. That'd be really sad for Jill. Come on, Clive. We're nearly at the Comrec. All right. Are you guys insane with this soundtrack? Soken. What is this? Oh, this just sounds so epic already. Oh my god. Oh. Dude. The very subtle chanting in the back too. All right, let's see what this is. This is about chat. Oh God, they're like praying to it. Oh, that's weird. That's not simple. What happened, dude? I know it's crazy. Okay. Is this the patriarch? 
Let's see if there's anything we can learn here really fast. It says that religion dedicated the worship of the mother crystal's priesthood enjoy great power with the patriarch leader and chief shepherd of the faithful, the most powerful of all. While best known as the state religion of the insular Iron Kingdom, it was once practiced throughout Valisthea. To its believers, the mother crystals are literal gods, and the wasteful expenditure of ether through the use of magic is strictly forbidden. As such, those who do magic, dominance, and bears both are seen as subhuman abominations. Yeah, sorry, I didn't remember that. I haven't really needed to do that yet, but I, 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 need, I need to see that. Do that more. I assume this is the guy. This is the bad boy. Are you sacrificing people to the crystal? Is that what you're doing? Really? Okay, dude. All right. Murray, thank you for that, too. Thank you. Shiva's dominant. Uh oh. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. For years, I followed your orders. Fought your wars. Let's go. All to protect the children you took. Just as you took me. And what did you do in return? You put them in chains and you slit their throats! Fate. <laughs> <laughs> their souls were sullied with a stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. A penance paid. Just as the Holy Mother wills it! Repent, abomination! For a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymric is in itself oh, shut a up. crime deserving of death! Shut up. You're right. I am a monster. And my soul is stained black. Though not by evil. But by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more. Nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bear its teeth at its master? I love Jill so much. Come She's so then, cool. Dominant rage, be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. <laughs> Kill them. Dude. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Dude. Whoa. This is so sick. Hello? Um, Joshua? What? <laughs> what the hell? What is that? What is that? What in the world is this? Oh my gosh, she's so cool, man. Let's go, Jill. Let's go, Jill. Is she okay? Oh my gosh, she's fully transformed. Oh my god. Finally, dude, it's been so long. Oh my god.
I barely survived that. Come on. Come on, lad. Torgles is there. Oh my god. Oh. Why? Why can't I do it? Oh no. Oh no. Whoa! <laughs> Did she just make the boss arena? Please, just one. Let's go. The music. It's back to this again. This song again. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh! Better make this quick. Let's go! Alright, we're gonna do a huge counter right there. Boom. What now? What now? Yo. Yo. Fuck. Dummies. Whoa. Joe, please. Diamond dust. Dude, it's like a summon. Like she's acting like a summon right now. That's so badass. All right. I won't take long. That's so freaking cool. Like she's really being like a summon on the side of battle like normal Final Fantasy games. Dude, oh my god, these abilities. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. What the? This boss fight's sick, dude. Whoa, whoa. What's that? What the f- Oh my god. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow. That's it. Okay, bro, the fact that you can literally just like your ult when you go into uh I forgot what it's called when you go into just like Ifrit mode, but I don't I don't know what it's called. Except the truth mode. Limit break. Oh my god, my brain wasn't working. Dude, literally like a limit break is so freaking crazy because you you get off attack so fast that you literally like have such a smaller like or such a larger window to actually be able to parry because your normal attacks are kind of slower so limit break a lot of times like if you just spam it at the right time you might be able just to hit that counter it's great but yeah upgrade the ability menu it gives you a limit oh wait really okay i have to see after this oh god oh, i hope she's okay please Please. I'm going to finish this, Clive. 
I love that she was like a summon in the background. That was very cool. Please be okay. Please be okay. Please. Please be okay. Here. Use this. What? Oh, okay. I I you know, I, was about, I was about to say I was like, okay, she's not giving us her power. She's giving it to the sword? What? What? What, what do you mean? What's that do? I guess it's like a flame crystal though, right? It's kind of badass. <laughs> oh, this is the raw moment. <laughs> oh my God, that was terrifying. First said the crystal. Wow, that what did you do? That to theme. It? That theme is so nice. Oh. We destroyed it. What? What? Monster. Monster. Do you have any idea what you have done? I do, father. I have killed the monster and become an outlaw. What a legend. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Yes, Jill. Yes. It's over. It is. Shiva exacted her price. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. No, no, Torgal, don't ruin the moment. Torgal! Are you kidding me? Torgal. Oh, they do it to us every time. Oh my God. Come on, tell each other how you feel, man. Please, please, please. Like, go, go a little bit further. I love them so much. This was such a good arc for Jill. I love it. Clive, look. It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. <gasps> oh no. Damn it. We need to leave. Agreed. <gasps> Wait, what? Is that not Joshua? <laughs> what? What? Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I kept my promise and now you keep yours. <laughs> she did, she's still alive. Wow. Wow, what a what a pretty scene. Legacy. Turn the corner. Turn the corner. Meanwhile. Yo, wait, so okay, wait. If Joshua's here, that wasn't Joshua then. I am beyond confused. If Joshua's here in this attire, which we saw him before, then the masked person was not. That's so interesting.
Granted, we also saw a mass person in the prologue cylinder that said, we found you, which that didn't seem like Joshua either. That seemed like maybe it was Ultima or something like that. So there's multiple people wearing hoods. Yeah. <laughs> Ultima's pissed. <laughs> Ultima's inside pissed. Way, your grace. Oh God. <laughs> It's like, it's like, uh, what was it, um, Voldemort when pieces of his soul die. That, I think that's what's happening. Like the crystals are connected to Ultima somehow. You're bleeding. I have a tonic which will- Oh yeah, uh, I thank you for your kindness. The medicine girl. Truly. But I assure you, I will survive. Please, save your medicines for those who need them most. Well- if you're sure. Yeah, no one, no one ever uses her medicine. <laughs> Poor girl. Oh. Uh, I for a moment there. Uh -huh. I felt my brother's presence. Oh. You did. I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. Oh my God! Look at his chest. But why now, after five years of silence? I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your grace. He really is like, wow. No, do not dirty your hands. I can't believe Joshua is like this in this game. I never expected that for some Look reason. Look at them all. Like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary. While others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek in the dominion, your grace? Oh. Dion Lesage. Oh. You mean the Grand Prince of San Brett? Oh, just Bahamut. <laughs> he has many titles. Dion the Bold. Oh, God. Prince of Dragoons. Odin's Nemesis. Or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. Huh. He was a chivalrous soul even then and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. Huh. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say what our world lurches ever closer to the abyss what are you talking and a hidden hand ushers us onward ultimus influence extends to every nation oh my god sunbreak included if his highness is the man i believe him to be and i pray that he is this truth will not have escaped his notice wait yeah it'd be so cool if he's an ally yeah. If Bahamut like is ends up on our side somehow. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals. And yet how spoiled. Like canaries in a gilded cage growing fat on seed. What a line. Now, the bars are closing in and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? Is he saying we should... A blessing that leads to damnation or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Dalmechian trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yote. Yote, not Jote, Yote. Who is she? Where did she come from? Oh, 
This is amazing, though. I, I'm so intrigued of where this is going to go. Like, the, the cinematics. Like, these cinematics are so well done. Like, they're just so well done. He's looking at that crystal. I thought they were going that way. Meanwhile... Rendella. Are we back at the uh, brothel? Maybe not. Army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on laying night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. All here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. Benedicta. <laughs> there is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Chaos. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. Ooh. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut and our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. You don't want mutually assured destruction. Unless that is what you desire. Uh, uh, you don't want that. If our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Hmm. Hmm. Does he have an ally? Oh my god. Oh, stop. Oh. Is that? And her new son. And her new son. Are you kidding me right now? What is the meaning of this? Yeah, and they're, they're against them. They were just. What it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. What? He was just talking about the Empire and how they're gonna take it on and now she's here? I'm so confused. What? Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. Wait, um... They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. What is going on? Such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. <laughs> He's the son of an empress. <laughs> Your own dear Clyde. He found out. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son, not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Okay, she's... Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me, a woman by the name of Benedicta. Oh, he's still I up. swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain. Sid's already dead, and also he didn't do it. 
That's so sad. In return, I will leave Sandbreck in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. So he's saying, give me Sid. He's saying, give me Sid and I'll, I will leave you alone kind of thing. And all for the love of a common whore. Jesus. Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> oh, she's so evil. There are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. I don't like this. And when your father goes to meet great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. Oh, she's so much like Cersei. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Oh, what the hell is that? He has a little stick figure that has a thing on it. What? I should I should look at the lore. Damn it! <laughs> I forgot about the lore time. What the hell was that? She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. Still okay. Oh my god, dude. After the storm. I think for now, chat, I think that's probably a good spot to, to, to stop for tonight. What an arc of an episode tonight. I mean, again, we're clocking in. Every, you know what's funny? Like every time we sort of clock in around that like six hour mark, like that five to six hour mark is usually where we get done. And so just for like, uh, you know, sort of going forward, if you're curious on how this game works, I definitely think around, like if, if you do side quests and stuff, around five to six hours is when you finish an arc every single time. It's around that, which is pretty good. Like, I'm glad it's not like eight or anything. Um, and again, it'd be shorter if I didn't do every side quest. It'd be probably like a pretty solid three and a half, four hour stream without the side quest. Um, but yeah, I, this is amazing. So much happened. So much happened tonight. Like we did, we got further in side quest. We got our Chocobo. We learned more about the uh, people at the hideaway, we cared for them. We helped them out. We helped out uh, Martha. We did a lot of stuff. We found out what was going on at the Abbey. Then we did the main quest. And when Jill got her spotlight tonight, which was great. Um, and I love how they're doing it. It's like first Mother Crystal, all about Sid in some ways. You know, Sid sort of gets his time to shine. Second Mother Crystal, Jill gets her time to, sh uh, to shine. Now... According to this game, and especially if you go to the map, this mother crystal being gone, um, the one over here or whatever, there's this one, which still exists. Like, look, there's only, there's literally only three left. The one, the, the, um, this is the one in the Dominion that they keep showing, but then the Kingdom of Waylo Waylode over here. This one's going to be nuts, man, if we get to that. So there's only three left. So if we've done two out of the five, or sorry, yeah, two out of the five, I'm curious. And also, I don't know if it's going to be like a, we're actually doing every single one. It might be like we do like one or two of them and one more or so, and then things all hell starts breaking loose. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But yeah, I, I, I thought this was great. I think this game is absolutely massive. There's so much to do. It makes me so happy. Um, the side quests get better and better. Heck yeah. No, I, I thought the side quests were way better this time. Uh, and I liked them before, but this time I really liked them because we got more rewards and I learned more than I did before. And some things came back around, which I, uh, I, I liked a lot. Okay.